Hello again, um, my name is Joanna and welcome to the second video which is looking at making props and toys for children's pretend and make-believe play. These videos have been commissioned by Dunleary Rathdown Arts Office and are part of the 2021 Crinia Nanoiga. So in this video we're going to be finishing off some of the things we looked at last time which is painting and decorating the salt dough um, biscuits and bread rolls that we made and also looking at making a little apron out of a tea towel with some ribbon and then we're going to be looking at making some flowers that the uh, children can use in their play so felt flowers like this and also little tissue flowers like this okay so now we're just going to look at how you can make an apron out of a tea towel now these kind of aprons are uh, very useful in any kind of um, play that the child's doing around cafes or being a chef or working in a kitchen and um, they love just putting them on and um, getting somebody to tie the ribbon at the back so all you do is uh, with your tea towel I'll show you the back you um, fold in the top corners and then sew on a ribbon here and here to go around the neck and a ribbon at either side to tie around the back. So if I just show you an ordinary tea towel like this or just a tea towel you have at home. So you take your tea towel and you just fold down the top corners like that and then you sew along there and you sew along there. Now if you're somebody who doesn't like sewing then obviously you could use these um, iron-on hemming tapes. Um, you could use them along those two sections there so once you have your corners um, sewn then you take whatever ribbon you're going to use and then sew it around the neck and then around the the back um, as well as ribbon you can also use that kind of velcro um, if that's easier that the, um, the the velcro that you can stick together okay Now we are going to look at decorating the salt dough um, food that we made in the first video. So this is the salt dough food that I made in the first video and I've had it out air drying for a few days. Now it's drying quite well but it's not quite um, dry yet. If you look underneath you can it still squidges a little bit, it's still soft to the touch and you can see it's a slightly different colour. So that needs to take a few more days to dry. Now these are ones that I made quite some time ago and you can feel when I touch them there's no nothing squeezing I can't feel anything at all and they feel dry and almost brittle but they, they can't they're, they're solid but they just feel they feel very firm so that is how you can tell um, if your salt dough is ready and fully dried and ready to be painted. To them, you just um, you can just use very ordinary poster paints so I've been using mostly a combination of this kind of mustardy colour, um, a little bit of brown and then some white. And I've been mixing them up as you can see here. So we kind of get different shades of um, sort of beigey brownie. You can see with this one, I painted the back one colour and I painted the top like it's got icing on it. And I've got some white icing ones here. And then with these um, bread rolls, I just put a little bit of darker paint in around the kind of where the lines are, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. When painted salt dough is dried, you can cover it just with um, one layer of PVA, and this will make it last longer, and it also holds the colour. So the PVA is this um, white kind of glue that you can get um, nearly everywhere. And with this, so this is um, one that I made the last time and you can see I've just covered one end in the glue and I'm just going to cover it now. When it's wet, like the colours are going to fade, but that will dry up to a shine. So, and it's just a, it's a good way of just making it last even longer. I found if the colours look too real and if it actually looks like real food the children have more of a tendency to try and eat it which isn't great obviously because there's a lot of salt in it so when i made these sausage rolls before um i did find that because they looked quite real and um, the children had a tendency to try and eat them so as when i went to make my um donuts and um, biscuits 
that's when I started covering them with um, glitter and shiny paint because they're very clearly now toys and they're not for real eating and then we can do the pretend yum 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 The felt flowers that we are going to look at making can either be made with sewing, sewing them together, or they can be glued together. So I'm going to show you how to sew them first and then I'll show you how to glue them. And so what you need for this is you need some felt in some different colours and you will need um, one of these, some of these sticks that you get from a garden centre, these little um, pots. Again, you can get them in the garden centre, that's for kind of planting the finished flower in when they're finished. You put a little bit of modelling clay in the bottom and the children can plant them like this and they enjoy doing that. And then you need a button. So as you can see from some of these I've made here, you can get some um, uh, just plain coloured buttons or some of these dotty patterned but buttons look nice as well. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to um, make the petal shape, the basic petal shape, and then how we can um, either sew it or glue it together. You take your bit of felt and scissors, and I don't usually bother using a template. I just cut a petal shape like this up to a point, and then just uh, cut it down the other side like this. Obviously there are lots of templates you can find on the internet if you want and then just cut that side in a little bit more so it echoes the two sides like each other. So you have a basic um, petal shape and then cut up into the petal like that and then when you sew it or glue it it will fold it across like that so it has a more 3D effect. You can see on this one that I've done it kind of curls up the leaf and it has a more 3D effect. So if we were sewing it, obviously we'd cut out like this. We can cut out our four shapes and then just sew them together like that, overlap them and sew them in and out. Then make another four shapes in a contrasting colour like that. Pop them on top of each other and then you cut out another little circle of felt there and then a button and then sew them all together like that. And then at the back you can put a little bit of, I'm just putting a little circle of um, green felt at the back and then you can sew that on like that and then take your garden stick and then that just slides up there. At the back is I just sew it back and forth, back and forth, very, very tight so that doesn't move and that's not coming anywhere. So this does make fairly solid and robust flowers that can take a fairly good bit of play. So when you're making the leaves, just again, um, cut, fold your felt in half using a green like this, fold it in half, but then this time your leaf shape, or your petal shape, up like that, and then down the other side. and down this way a little bit and then it opens up and you have your leaf to go on your stem. If you were going to um, make the flowers but glue them rather than sew them it's very similar so you cut out your petal shape again but this time rather than um, sewing it we're going to glue it so you glue it here and then fold it across and hold it down. I sometimes find it's quite handy to just hold that with a clothes peg. So you would make your four petals like that, glue them, and then when they're glued, just get another bit of felt like that and stick your petals down onto the, the backing felt and then put another contrasting colour and a button on top. Uh, just before this has dried, you put your green stick in behind. This has got dried a little bit now, but you put that in behind and then glue it down and hold it. 
And then when you're gluing the leaves, what I thought would be the easiest thing to do is to um, cut out your leaf shape, put it down, then get your stake, put the glue here, and then put it down. And then just cut a little section of felt like that, and then glue it across like that. And again, this is very, very well secured and well held. And then when they're done, you can get your um, modeling clay that looks like this. Um, or you can use Play-Doh or anything like that, but it's nice and heavy and put it in the bottom of the little pot. Obviously you could use a yogurt pot or any kind of little pot. And then the child can come along with their flower and plant it like that. So now we're just going to look at a way of making some very simple flowers very quickly, just using tissue paper and pipe cleaners. So uh, what you need for this, different colours tissue paper and then a couple of pipe cleaners. Now you can use quite small little bits of tissue paper for this. Um, basically what you want to do is just have them cut into squares, but your, some of your squares can get a little bit smaller for the centre of the flower. To fold them concertina-like, um, up and down. So just lay that one in the middle, the tissue paper like this, and then we're going to fold like this and back. Now this is a uh, kind of um, flowers that actually the children themselves can also join in and help you out with. So concertine it all up like that and then fold it in half that way just to get the halfway point. Then take your pipe cleaner and put it around the middle and give it a little twist to hold it like that. And then you, you basically, it's just a matter of opening it up like this and then start with the inside color, the one that's on the top. That's going to be the center of the flower. Just pull it up like this. It actually doesn't even really matter if things get torn a bit because everything gets hidden and then your next layer pull it up and then your next layer i've got a white layer then now these are not that robust they would take a little bit of play but they're not going to last as long as the felt flowers but they're very quick as you can see you can kind of just squish it all together and make your flower like that so as you can see, there's, I've done different coloured ones here. This one was done with um, a, a patterned tissue paper. Sometimes you get patterned tissue paper around presents or for wrapping presents, so that can be used as well. Um, and all together in a bunch, they look quite colourful and cheerful like that. So with this one, I uh, just to make a little butterfly, I folded up the tissue paper in exactly the same way. Um, I put the pipe cleaner around it only um, this time I just used a little bead to make the head and then a second little bead just to hold the first bead on and then I just curled the pipe cleaner down to make a little antennae. So exactly the same folding the tissue only this time you don't um, ruche it out you just ruche it out that way when you've done your concertina and you have a little butterfly. So very simple and easy flowers and butterflies for your child's make-believe play. There are additional resources and materials on the Dunleary Rathdown website. Um, so thank you to Dunleary Rathdown Arts Office for commissioning these videos. And a big thank you to Bethan and Dulta for their filming and technical support. Thanks very much, bye bye.